right now, the community of Oakland is gathering together following Officer Lay's death. He was murdered a week ago while working an undercover burglary operation. NBC Barry's Tom Jensen there uh, a week ago when he, the officer was gunned down. Now, Tom, you are at this memorial in Chinatown. Tell us what's happening. Good morning to both of you. This is what an appropriate place to have this in Chinatown, in the heart of Chinatown, where Officer Lay spent so much of his time. Organizers set up a makeshift temple in this room here, a Buddhist temple, and had a ceremony here uh, with chanting and bells that would help. Uh, in the Buddhist belief, send his spirit into the next life. His memorial began about an hour ago here at the Pacific Renaissance Plaza in the heart of Oakland's Chinatown. Like I said, he's being remembered as a decorated officer, a husband and son who loved Oakland. And his family and friends and colleagues say he dedicated his working and free time to this community. Oakland City Councilman Noel Gallo first met Tuan Lei when he was a teenager. You know, he's an individual that I've known since high school days. He went to uh, high school at Oakland High School with my three daughters. And I was there at his graduation, handing him a diploma, being on the Oakland Board of Education. And uh, I attended his uh, police graduation ceremony as well. So, but, you know, he was a respectable, lovable um, young man. Officer Tuan Le was born in Vietnam in 1987. He grew up here, and everyone who knew him says he could light up a room with laughter and was always upbeat and positive. Tuan graduated from Oakland's Police Academy in 2020, and he has devoted his career to trying to bridge the gap between the community that he loves so much here and law enforcement. Tuan Le was the 54th law enforcement in Oakland, law enforcement officer in Oakland, to lose his life in the line of duty. Live in Oakland, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News.